breaking news. We want to remind everyone that our first responder family faces dangers every day. There's no such thing as a routine call. Boston's police commissioner speaking out after an EMT was stabbed on the job. A patient in an ambulance attacking her. The EMT driving stopped that ambulance to help out. But police say that he was then maced by the patient as well. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live at Mass General Hospital tonight where those first responders are now being treated. Mike? Paula, Mass General is only a few blocks away from where the stabbing happened. There is still a heavy police presence and a Boston EMS presence outside of Mass General. Right now, the female EMT who was stabbed multiple times is currently in surgery. Boston police say the two EMTs were attacked by a patient as the ambulance headed toward Mass General. On arrival, they located a female EMT suffering from multiple stab wounds. It happened around 4 o'clock on New Chardon Street next to the Brook Courthouse. She did produce a uh, weapon and uh, she attacked one of our EMTs in the back, a 14 veteran of the department. Boston EMS Chief Jim Hooley says the suspect is also the patient who was being transported from East Boston for emotional distress. She allegedly stabbed the EMT several times, then tried to keep her partner away after he pulled the ambulance over to help. Patient slash suspect uh, reportedly also had either some sort of OC or mace on her person and proceeded to uh, uh, spray her partner. Both were taken to Mass General for treatment. These EMTs did not deserve this. Every day they go out and they help people. They save lives. They did not deserve to be attacked. The EMTs are expected to make a full recovery. It's upsetting. Yeah, it's really upsetting. Hearing about people so we like, that are helping our community that are getting hurt, it's just upsetting. Boston police say they've arrested 31-year-old Julie Tejeda of East Boston. She's facing several charges, including assault with intent to murder. We're live in Boston. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.